Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to be looking at section 5 now which uh, I'm going to focus my attention to pivot tables. Um, these can seem complicated if you've never used them before but they're so incredibly useful. So hopefully during this, uh, this video tutorial you'll see exactly why they're so useful and then hopefully be able to feel a bit more confidence into giving it a go. But before we do, I just want to remind you that, uh, yes, I haven't put anything in here, but uh, you should have done so already. So you should have had uh, some time to ex uh, get some screenshots and explain your sums and formulas that you've done so far. Um, I just want to remind you also that just because we've done these sums and these formulas, these will not be the only sums or formulas uh, through this project. You will find more complicated, hopefully even better uh, useful formulas and sums and when you do get to those points you will come back to uh, evidencing it into this document. So without any further ado let's look at pivot tables. Um, let's come back over here. So before I go any further you'll see that I've actually named this sheet here as a summary sheet for now. I might change it later, I may not, so just just to, in the interest of keeping things organized so they don't get confused uh, over which sheet we're using. We go back to the main one um, and in fact, let's change this to Cineworld uh, main data sheet. So we know that's the main data sheet. And what we're going to do is basically going to go to insert and click on pivot table. Now there are recommended ones as well, but I find it's easy to go to the pivot table option here. And what this does is it should break it up. It's, in essence, it's going to slice and organize specific data that you can uh, use from this rather than having everything in one go uh, to help you see some patterns. So here we're going to keep everything as it is, but we're going to go down to where it says um, new worksheet here. So we want to make a new worksheet and we're going to press OK. And it opens a, a new one here. Now we're going to keep that as it is, no matter whatever it says. Mine says sheet 5, yours might say something else, makes no difference. Just leave it as it is for now. On the left hand side is where the table is going to show up. Now at the moment there's nothing there uh, because I've not selected anything yet. And the best way to do this, ladies and gents, is to actually play around with it. You'll see there's three, sorry, four little cubes here at the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to select certain things and drag and drop what we need. Um, so what we want to do, I'm going to focus on sales for now. So I'm going to look at the price paid. I'm going to click there and that goes to values. Now if it doesn't go there, just drag it over. Okay, so there you go, values. And then, as you can see there, it's showing you exactly how much we've made so far. Um, we're also going to look at maybe, let's, let's just say, that the question is really, you have to ask yourself, what kind of information do you want to find out from this? So maybe you're the manager, pretend, let's pretend you're the manager and you want to say, okay, what film has made us the most money? So we'll go to maybe the name of the film and drag it into the rows. So either you could put it in columns, so you can see from the top here like that, but I find it's easier to put it in the rows instead. So you can see these are all the films that have been played over the last few months. And this is how much uh, has been paid as a result into it. Um, so you can use it just like that. You, so you can see, okay, this is what uh, the top films are. Um, what might be useful is to select all this and make sure that it's formatted to currency just to make it uh, make sense. There we go. Um, You'll see when I click away, the features, the tools on the side here disappear. But when the moment I click here, it does pop up, pop back up again. Um, let's see what else could we do with this. Gender? No, I think that that'll be fine. To be fair, yeah, let's keep it as this. But what might be even more useful is perhaps um, right-click inside, go to sort, and let's put it from largest to smallest so we can see the top earning uh, films and I'm not sure why blank is here um, oh yes I know why it's because I have sorry I have to scroll down I should have gone from the the scroll bar at the side. It's because I've got this here. So the the t pivot table is calculating this as well. So what I might do is go back in here, and I wonder if it's in here. No. Can I change it here? Let's have a look. Mm, 
No, it's not here. So what I'm what I'm going to have to do, ladies and gents, is we're going to just delete this. Well, actually, can I go backwards? I see. Undo, undo, undo. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to delete that and do this again. I just want to make sure I select exactly what I need. So I'm going to go back to Insert, Pivot Table, and the range. Here we go. So what might make sense, in fact, here's another skill and tool to put in there um, called Named Ranges. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to select everything from here to up to where the sum the uh, sum starts to there and here at the moment can you see it says A1 we're going to change that to uh, main data no space okay main data press enter and what will happen is that will be saved as main data so that range has been named it's been labeled as main data you can see it's now called main data so if i go to insert and go to pivot table now and i type main data it should it should be okay now let's have a look so let's do the same thing i'm going to go for price paid Yep, can you see it says 5,461, so it's not duplicated, which is perfect. And I'm going to put movie, uh, name of movie. There we go. So that makes more sense now. And again, going back to before, sort this out to largest to smallest. And now we can see that Star Wars has made the most money to the cinema. Second came Detroit, then Gemini, and so on and so forth. But again, we need to change this to currency. And we can name this as top um, selling movies. What I will do though is I want to change this. Uh, if we go to design, just to make it look a little bit more presentable, you've got different designs here, just to make it easier on the eyes. Um, t -t -t I believe, and there's it's just a matter of personal preference to be fair, but. Um, you do want to make sure you choose something that looks easy to read. I'm going to go for this one here. Uh, but I will change the colour scheme. So let's... No, where's it gone? I wonder if there is a... No, there isn't. Okay. Now, there is another way. Um, because I've got red and white in the other places, so just going to select it and do the old fashioned way, which is go in here and choose that. Okay, very simply. Um, so I'm going to keep that as that, and what I could do is just change this to top earning movies. Okay, now. You could keep doing this until you have a few different styles. So I'm going to do another one here, just so you see what I mean. So insert, uh, pivot table. I'm going to look at genres this time. So I'm going to type in... Oh, sorry. Let's delete all this. And just put main data again. So that's why I named it before. New worksheet is fine. Press OK. There we go. This time I'm going to go for genres. So both, again, price paid. And let's go for genre so we can see which type of movie is giving us the most money. Uh, again, I'm going to highlight these, change it to currency, and again, sort this so we have the highest at the top. So we can see what's earning the cinema the most money. And to make this even more interesting, we could put gender in there. So we can see basically which is the most important to which gender. Uh, but from here, you can see that it's making it more complicated. It's not really looking that great. So maybe we could put the gender up here to the columns. So this is what I mean by playing, playing around with it. So you can see here that... Um, no doubt that action adventure science fiction movies are bringing in the most money to the cinema but between the two it's the men who are buying uh, into these tickets more than women um, and then you can see other patterns as you go down so you can see here it looks like that this particular month 
um, not many people bought comedy horror um, from the females, but n literally no man, no male uh, person came to pay pay for these, um, or at least from the, from the people who actually participated in the survey. So you can see these patterns here as well. Again, go to the design, um, pick the same one you had last time. So keep it consistent. So I'm going to go for this one here, and I'm going to highlight these. And make sure it's the same color scheme as before just to make it consistent and in fact let's make it bold as well so you can see pretty easily what's going on so you can now call this one um, top genres versus genders yeah so you can see exactly which which um, genre of movie is bringing in the most money and which of them are popular with which gender. So you can see how useful this information can be. So I want you to basically play around with this and make as many as you can. So so far we've got gender and genres. We've got top earning movies. Um, the, the best way to do this, boys and girls, is to actually look at this and say, okay, how can we, what, what, what else can we find out? So here's another one. You can look at the rating. Yeah. So, which genre had the highest rating? Yeah. And which film has had had the highest rating? So we can do that as well. But rather than making separate ones, you could add them in here if you want to. So, for example, if I go to top earning ones, these are the films. I can click on here. Let's put the uh, movie rating in here, and it's gone to the columns, which is perfect. Uh, one second. Values has gone there. Now I want movie rating. Movie rating. Where have we gone? undo this it's duplicated it so I don't want that so remove that field Ooh, don't want to do that let's undo there we go um, I may have to make it separately and this is the thing boys and girls you just have to play around with it to see how it can work so in the columns I want yeah, that's not going to work. So I'm going to uncheck this and just make another one. So go in here, insert, pivot table, uh, main data, which is what I called it. Um, new worksheet. Yes, that's perfect. Come back over here. We want to see amount again. So this time I want to see... Um, no, let's see the rating. That's what I want to see. Movie rating. There it is. And we want to see it by name of film. There you go, and we can see uh, this from high to low, so you can see, again, makes sense, this particular film had had the most uh, ratings from people, this has got the second, third, fourth, and so on and so forth, and now again, you could put gender in there if you want to, so you can see exactly what people have said, and put the gender up here in the column, so you can see exactly which one showed more popularity between the genders okay and again get the consistency in there make sure you got the same color scheme same style there it is if I select it properly there we go and give this an appropriate name to the worksheet and this one's going to be called something like um, uh, movie ratings or highest rated movies I'm gonna keep it simple movie ratings okay so you've got a few there have a play around with it I'm gonna pause the video now I'm gonna see if I can think of any more um, but you want a few of these once you've done these you need to go back over here screenshot and explain each one what have you done? What does it show? And why is it useful? Okay, so the more of these you make, the higher marks you get. You're actually showing a number of different things here. So you've sorted it. Okay, and in fact, here's a little little tip for the higher marks. Right click and add a comment. Uh, if I can find it, it's not here, is it? Insert. Is it in here? 
No, it's not. Okay, so um, can I do it here? There it is. Insert a comment, and as you make these, before you go on to the next pivot table, explain why you've done this. What does it actually show? One, it'll give you more marks. Two, it's going to help you uh, remember. So when you go on to actually explaining yourselves and justifying it in your document here, you have this to help you. So you're going to type in this pivot table has been created to show the um, top earning movies for the specified months. The table has been sorted to show the highest earners at the top. It is clear to see which movies have made the least amount of money for the cinema in this case it's was super dark times and beach rats right so if you do that you'll have something that's always there to help you now what I will do also there's a way of showing these let's have a look if we go to view maybe and if I can find it show all comments there we go and they can drag these out so you have it showing now you can do this and you should do this if you especially if you want anything higher than a pass for every table that you make and in fact from now on anytime you do something I want you to make comments just so you remember what you've done and then you can use these to help you fill in uh, these sections here uh, for each screenshot that you take okay hope that makes sense good luck okay welcome back I just thought of one more before I uh, close this video just to give you an idea of exactly how useful this can be so so far we've looked at looking at the actual um, the movies themselves you know so this is like uh, figure out which movies made the most money for the for the cinema uh, which genre is the most popular and for which genders um, which has got the most ratings out of 10 sales now this one is really useful and if you want to have a look you'll see how I've done this just gonna click on there you can see here I just put down months, uh, sorry, when I, in fact, all I did was simply put down uh, the genre in here, and I'll, you'll see why the genre is there, the price here, and I put down the date, right, so I've literally clicked these here, the months were done automatically, so I literally put down date of visit, genre, and price, price went here, and the genre went here, now from here you can see very easily, um, over those uh, few months, so August, September, October, November, December, so five months, how much money was actually uh, brought into this uh, cinema. And you can see uh, exactly what that is. Now, you might be tempted to now put this in uh, the amount, uh, you know, highest to lowest order, uh, but because we're dealing with dates here, it makes more sense to keep it in the date order, but since August comes before September and so on and so forth. But you can still see from here, uh, that December is when they took a, a, quite a bit hit, um, uh, sorry, um, uh, a drop in sales uh, had taken place. But when you click on these, and this is all done automatically, you can then see a breakdown exactly in that month, exactly what they got on the 1st, on the 2nd of August, the 3rd of August, the 4th of August, and what films were actually um, bought, what tickets were paid uh, for what films. So there's a breakdown there that's quite nice and easy to see, should they need to. Uh, and when they don't need to see that, it's just a simple case of here's what it was like in the month. Now, if I did get rid of the genre, so if I click on this now and get rid of it, you'll see it doesn't look any different here, but when you open it up, you'll see a breakdown for the month itself. And that's quite nice in itself. You can see in that month, this is where the, uh, the amount was, and you can then see where um, you could create a line chart for this for August to see how it goes up or down, which will be uh, a video later on in the series. 
And if you want to, you could actually make this twice. So you could duplicate this and have one with the genres in there and one without, uh, should you wish to do so. So I'm going to think about, you know, think carefully about how you can use this information here, this data here, and what kind of questions could you have. Uh, a lot of it's going to be about, you know, the ratings and the, the amount being made and what's popular. Uh, because the question is going to be, okay, as a cinema, if you owned it, what's not making us any money? And if you had that knowledge, then you'd know what you wouldn't want to pay for as a cinema. If you know that certain films aren't that popular in your area, for example, romantic comedies, then you may not pay to have those romantic comedy films to uh, be shown in your cinema in the first place. But if you know that sci-fi is uh, particularly uh, making you the most money, then you'd be, you'd be more willing and wanting to you know, invest money and, and actually bring in more sci-fi action films into your cinema because you know it's selling. So when you look at this, um, let's have a look. Genres, top earning movies. There we go. You can see that Star Wars, and if I go to the genres here, they got action, adventure, science, sci-fi films. Is making the most money, eight hundred pounds, right? Then you know that crime drama is also making is your second highest earner. So you know that those kind of films obviously work in your cinema because of the people that are going there. Um, and you have to remember, boys and girls, that business, especially. I know we're talking a lot about business here, but that's what data, data modeling is about. Um, a lot of business has nothing to, do, nothing to do with your personal opinion. You can't just say, oh, I know this is going to work and I know that's not going to work. No, but because that's a, an opinion. You need to have uh, decisions based on, uh, you know, based on facts and figures and with some kind of reasoning and rationale behind it. And this is why this is so useful. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. And I hope that you can think of a few more than the, the four that I've just shown you as an, as an example. Uh, whatever you do, just remember that you make these comments explaining what you've done, how you've done it, um, and why they're useful, what kind of answers, uh, knowledge you get from it, and then obviously screenshot each one and show it in here. Uh, don't be afraid to show the expanded versions as well. Should you get these kind of expansions, do that. Uh, and then show it in here. So you may have more than, in fact, I know for a fact you're going to have more than one screenshot in this area.